Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an exciting and comprehensive tutorial for you on how to set up slow DNS using HTTP Injector. This method can be incredibly useful for various networking purposes. Before we dive in, make sure to check out our blog for more updates and hidden tricks. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. All right, let's jump right into it. First things first, we need to get the HTTP Injector app on your device. Here's how. Open the Google Play Store on your Android device. In the search bar at the top, type HTTP Injector. Look for the official HTTP Injector app in the search results. It should have a good rating and a high number of downloads. Tap on the app to open its page. Hit the Install button and wait for the download and installation to complete. Once it's installed, you'll see an open, tap on it to launch the app. You'll now be on the home screen of HTTP Injector. Now that we have HTTP Injector ready, let's get the slow DNS credentials we need. Open your preferred web browser, we'll use Chrome for this tutorial. In the search bar, type private sh and hit enter. Look for the official private SSH website in the search results and click on it. Once you're on the private SSH homepage, Look for the hamburger menu icon, three horizontal lines in the upper right corner and tap it. In the menu that appears, find and select SSH and OVPN. On the new page, locate and click on Slow DNS. You'll see a list of server locations across Asia, Europe, and America. Choose the one that's best for you based on your location or needs. After selecting a location, click on the seven days option. On the next page, you'll see a create account button. Click it you'll be prompted to create a password. Make sure it's strong and unique. Complete the reCAPTCHA verification to prove you're not a bot. Click the Create Account button again. In a few seconds, your account will be generated. You'll see important information displayed on the screen. Make sure to note down or copy the following details. Host username, password, port name of server, public key. These details are crucial for the next steps, so keep them handy. Now, let's head back to the HTTP Injector app and set it up. On the home screen of HTTP Injector, look for an arrow button below the Start button and tap it. In the new window, find the Tunnel Type drop-down and select Secure Shell SSH. For the connection form, choose DNS from the options. Tap the Save button to confirm these settings. Now look for the Settings icon, usually a gear or cog symbol, in the upper right corner and tap it. In the Settings menu, find and select Secure Shell. A new window will open where you can enter your account information. Paste in the username and password you got from Private SSH. Once you've entered this info, tap the back arrow in the upper left corner to return to the previous screen. Now find and tap on DNS TDNS. In the DNS settings, look for DNS Resolver and set it to Custom. Tap on DNS Resolver mode and select DNS UDP 53. For the DNS Resolver address, you'll want to use a reliable DNS. Let's use Google's DNS for this tutorial. Enter 8.8.8 .8 or 88.4.4. Scroll down to the DNS TT settings section. Here, paste in the DNS TT name server and DNS TT public key that you got from private SSH earlier. We're almost there. Let's connect and test our setup. Go back to the HTTP Injector home screen. You should see a big Start button. Tap it to initiate the VPN connection. If everything is set up correctly, you should see a connection confirmation message. You can now test your connection by opening a browser or any app that requires internet access. If you're having trouble connecting, try these quick fixes. Double check all the credentials you entered to make sure they're correct. Ensure your device has a stable internet connection. Try switching between Wi-Fi and mobile data to see if it makes a difference. Restart the HTTP Injector app and try connecting again. And there you have it, folks. You've successfully set up slow DNS using HTTP Injector. This method can be incredibly useful for various networking purposes, but remember to always use it responsibly and in accordance with local laws and regulations. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.